Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another love reading and this is going to be for October. Hope you guys are all doing well and uh, yeah, let's get into it. If you get a message here Scorpio, please give a thumbs up and um, before we begin, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for, you know, all the likes, shares, subscribes, etc. These are general readings Scorpio, so this may not resonate with you. And please keep in mind that these energies can go back and forth. So although this is your reading, Scorpio, this can, you know, this can be somebody else's <coughs> energy, right? Maybe for some of you could be dealing with a Knight of Pentacles showing up in the overall energy for you. And I've already shuffled the decks here, and right now let's pull a couple cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle here. We have Unfinished Symphony, Soulmates, and a change in the wind. So by looking at your reading, Scorpio, there could have been a third party in the past, or at least heartbreak. Five of Swords is right here. Directly underneath is the Three of Swords, which talks about heartbreak or third party energy, typically. Uh, the Death card showing up here, this could simply be you. But I feel like with the change in the wind, I think there is unfinished business with somebody here. Uh, and maybe there was uh, deception in the past here, but now there, a change is coming for you with your soulmate. It's showing up over here. Knight of Pentacles is in your overall energy. Let's see why you have the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. And the Knight of Wands. Wow. So, you know, you could have been dealing with... <coughs> It's possible your person here, Scorpio, is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You could have left them out, maybe, or they left you out. Maybe they were a player, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Uh, they could be changing right now. They could be, maybe, let's see here. The challenge for you was the Five of Swords, um, and which is chaos and conflict. Could be manipulation. Clarify that Five of Swords. And this is loss. It is loss usually due to uh, manipulation or chaos and conflict. Four of swords showing up here and the two of cups. So the challenge here is, I feel like this was already an ending. This has already ended, right? Unfinished symphony over here. And this already ended in the past and you could be, the challenge could be for maybe for you to heal this, possibly, to get over this, right? Because this person is most likely your soulmate, two of cups here, soulmate over here. The moon card is showing up in the root. Why is that moon card there for Scorpio? The fool. Seven of pentacles. You're trying to make up your mind if you should take a leap of faith on this person. They could have left you. Maybe for somebody else as well. Yeah, you're confused here. The moon here. You have fear here about taking a risk on them, right? You can be waiting right now. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting and just thinking about it. Waiting like buying your time. Buying time. The Emperor has shown up in the recent past for you, Scorpio. Chariot, Six of Cups. So in the past, somebody could have had victory maybe with somebody from their past. Yes. And you could be dealing, you could have been dealing with somebody who was this emperor, who could be an Aries, but this simply could also be uh, somebody who is controlling, right? Yeah. I feel somebody in the past, I feel I had victory with somebody from their past. This is most likely your person. The Three of Swords is what is affecting you on a conscious level. Three of Swords, yes, you can't. See, you're trying to figure out whether or not you want to heal something. And I do feel like you are constantly, you know, thinking about those Five of Swords here. How, they, how somebody could have played mind games with you and had a third party. Doesn't have to be a third party, could have just been... Uh, Manipulation. You could have been dealing with somebody, you know, who was manipulating you for some of you. Scorpio, you're not sure if you want to, you know, heal this or just work on yourself. 
You're kind of between two worlds here. In the near future is the Ace of Wands for you. And that is totally matching up with your Oracle cards. A change in the wind, soulmates. Why is that Ace of Wands there for Scorpio? Three of Wands, Two of Wands. So in the near future, you could be moving forward with this new beginning, right? Ace of Wands. The Two and the Three of Wands. Talk about moving forward together. A new beginning, too. The Two of Wands can be... It can be starting out all over. This man is looking out at the earth, the, I'm sorry, the sea, holding the world in his hands here. And he's at a crossroads, though. But he's at a crossroads about moving forward here. Yes. And I feel like in the, in, this is you. You are at this crossroad here because, you know, because there was a third party. But I feel like you're at a crossroad right now, yes, because you're looking at the past and you're thinking, maybe I should just, maybe I'm better off by myself. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords, rather. Seven of Cups showing up here, and that is how you are seeing yourself. Yes, why is that Seven of Cups there for Scorpio? You could have options. You could be seeing yourself as having options here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's what you could, maybe that's why you want to be, you know, you're kind of torn between being single and maybe healing this with this person. You could have other options. And you can be seeing yourself, too, as maybe dealing with somebody who was a trickster here, who had options. Seven of Cups, Magician, and the Seven of Swords. So, you, this could be your energy, too, Libra. I mean, Scorpio. I beg your pardon. As I mentioned earlier, these energies can go back and forth. Um, yeah. And there could be, you could be seeing yourself as dealing with somebody who deceived you, right? Death card showing up over here. There could have been a lot of deception. Yeah. Death card is in the environment. Why is that there for Scorpio? Three of Cups. The Empress. There was an ending here. So we know there was already an ending because... The Five of Pentacles talks about endings, and that is in your overall energy. And I think there was there was there was an ending because of a third party. That's all this. this what this is here. High Priest is showing up in your hopes and fears. That is you, most likely, uh, Scorpio. You could be, you know, trying to figure things out intuitively as well. Yeah, so I feel like you're hoping for a new beginning, right? Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Why is that Page of Pentacles there? The hangman in the reverse. Actually, in the upright. Of course he looks like he's in the reverse because he, he is in the reverse when he's not in the reverse, right? <laughs> Let's get one more card. There's a hangman there. You're hoping for a new beginning here and that you're not going to be stuck on it. Because you are. You're like, I, I, I think that you are, like, doubting this. Yeah, you're doubting because there was an ending here. It could have been a pain. Ten of Swords not showing up here. But there could, you know, for some of you guys, you could be leaving somebody right now here. Yes, you could be leaving them right now. Or they could be leaving you. And I feel like that is the case here, because, you know, the death card here. There could be a transformation for some of you, right? Soulmates, a change in the wind, unfinished business. There could be a reconciliation after an ending, yeah, for you as well. Why is that hangman there? In your hopes and fears. The hermit. Okay, so we can have a Virgo here, right? We see the Knight of Pentacles showing up first card out for you Scorpio in your overall energy you must this person must have been really important to you I feel like this person was a player yes and they could have been dealing with somebody from their past now 
I feel like you are just hoping that you're not going to be stuck about a new start with them. They could be offering you to come back. Yes, and they could be offering you right now Death card, Three of Cups. This could be a transformation for a reconciliation. It, I feel like it is. Empress and the Knight of Cups. This could be you. The Empress can, depending on the reading, but this could just simply be you too. I feel like this is both. I feel like that there, you know, there was an ending because of a third party, but I feel like now there is a chance for reconciliation and transformation. The Hierophant is showing up in your outcome. Why is the Hierophant there in your outcome? Yeah, you're still guarded. You don't know what you want to do about this. Hierophant, Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So you're guarded here. You're not sure what to do about the situation. Wow. Well, know that there is a change in the wind here for you, um, Scorpio. And I do feel, I feel like this is with this person, right? The same person, this Knight of Pentacles for some of you, because of the unfinished symphony here, all right? And a change in the wind. I'm going to leave the reading there, Scorpio. And uh, if you like the reading or if you got, you know, if you did get a message here, please give a thumbs up. Uh, and, you know, in case this didn't resonate with you, you can always get your own private reading, which is uh, 800 times better than any, uh, than any YouTube reading, I feel. All right. Thank you so much, you guys.